Everything that's going on with football right now, this upcoming football season, and you know, uh, there's been a lot of questions about if they can actually pull this off. Well, you know what, I look in the sense of where, where we are right now in the times, and uh, I think people look at it from two different ways. Sports is a safe haven for us where we get a chance to bring our families together and enjoy something that we love. Uh, from a fan standpoint, they also look at it in the sense that uh, with all the negativity that we're seeing on the news and all on TV and, and read over the internet, this gives us some positivity going forward. Uh, but I think as far as the players are concerned, they want to play. And if I was a former player, I would play too. I think the way that you handle it is somewhat Adam Silver has kind of moved in that direction of, of creating a, a bubble um, of having more of a training camp mode where the players are kind of isolated and being together, they constantly get tested. Uh, and when they want to see their family members, they FaceTime them or they have a you know specific way of, of having distancing between the families. I mean, you know, obviously as a father of four, I would love to see my kids and be able to talk to them and support them and, you know, they're involved in school now and, uh, you know, sports. Uh, but this is something that, that obviously pays the bills and puts food on the table. I've been watching you on, on social media. You're, you're doing quarterback training now. Uh, what yes. made you decide to go that route other than the fact you were a great quarterback when you were in the pros and in, in college? So now you're training young men. Tell me about that. Well, you know, I, I, I started doing this probably about a decade ago. And, you know, it wasn't anything that, you know, especially you think of that time, it pretty much wasn't social media. But, um, you know, families or, or fathers reached out to me, wanted me to work with their kid and, and see what, what the weaknesses were or what they could, you know, enhance and try to, um, you know, give them an opportunity to have a chance to compete for a starting job. And if they were starting, they were, you know, trying to get better and obviously try to receive an offer uh, from a university of be able to create a scholarship for themselves. But uh, it's one in which I enjoy. I enjoy because I, when, when you have kids that are 10, 11, 12 years old and they're starting from the bottom, and you know, they have dreams of playing on a division one level when they come out and they have some talent, but no one has ever tapped into it. Now, when you play uh, in Philly, I remember them booing.